Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to compare two databases of SQL Server. Um, there are a couple ways that you could do this. Number one, using Visual Studio, and that is what's going to be covered in this demo. And number two, third-party software such, such as Redgate, and they have a compare tool where you can compare your uh, databases schema as well as the data if you would like to do that. But uh, SQL, uh, Visual Studio does a pretty good job. In this demo, we'll be covering Visual Studio, and we'll be covering uh, multiple ways using Visual Studio to um, do our comparison between two databases. Number one, we can make connection basically using Visual Studio with the live SQL Server and get the databases from there and compare. And number two, we can script out our databases uh, in SQL Server Management Studio and save it somewhere in the file and import that script, dot SQL script, and compare it that way. And number three, you can have um, projects created in Visual Studio and then you can let's say that they are database uh, SQL Server uh, projects and you can compare the databases that you have between two projects just to give you a little bit of scenario that usually the data comparison when we want to do the data compare that is that we we are working on some development and we're uh, trying to move um, promote the changes that we made in databases from dev test UAT and production uh, and um, sometimes it is always good idea to go ahead and uh, compare your development that what you have changed with what it what is it in production or what is it in UAT so th this is the scenario back behind the scene that where you would like to uh, do that in Visual Studio also if you're actively using Visual Studio for your development and have your projects this is a much better option than making a live connection with your uh, uh, SQL Server but uh, you can have your um, uh, couple projects and both projects you have a uh, same databases one is that you uh, call it a test project and other you call it dev project and you actively work on dev project and uh, once you're done with development you wanted to see that how many objects um, you have changed as far as schema goes so I'm going to show you uh, all these options and um, we'll be doing live connection uh, right here and looking at different options but uh, those options are available for scripted out databases and import databases in your project all the all those are the same we won't be going through in this demo uh, doing everything like script out the database and do that and import the database in project i'll be showing you how to do it but uh, this will cover most of our stuff the settings especially that i wanted to show you so let's go ahead and go in my sql server this is my sql server and i'm going to go ahead if you have visual studio i forgot to mention that uh, if you have visual studio 2010 premium ultimate that is available up there schema comparison is available in there all you need to do is just uh, create a new uh, uh, project with uh, sql server project and you will get an option i'm i'm using SQL Server um, Visual Studio 2013. So let's go and do this. And here's my SQL uh, Visual Studio 2013. And I'm going to sign in with Visual Studio. And first thing that you need to do, if you haven't already made a SQL Server project, you can click on File, click on New, and click on Project and give project name compare databases this is just for demo purposes so I'm going to go ahead and click on OK and it is creating an empty project at this moment for me and here is our solution explorer right here it has created compared databases right here if you don't see solution explorer you can go ahead and click on view and click on solution explorer all right uh, here is our uh, database project in order to go ahead and look at different options how you can compare the databases you you can right click on the compare databases or uh, your solution right here your project right click on the project and click on schema compare this is one option and other option is import and we'll be looking at other options just in a little bit let's go ahead and click on schema compare and in schema compare let me go ahead and clear the source so you will get 
uh, option here select the source and select the destination so you need to select the database on the source side and compare it wherever whatever the database you want to compare that would be your target database so let's go ahead and click on select the source you get three options right here if if your database is in part of your project on visual studio you can uh, select this and give the path and also this will make a live connection with database with the database sql server database and you can choose the database that way and this is application tier application file uh, data tier application file that you can provide right here but in this demo we're going to go ahead and make our live connection with sql server so uh, if you already have some connection it'll remember it from the previous but uh, in this demo I wanted to show you that what you get when you click on new connection up here you get uh, the connection properties right here you need to provide your SQL server instance name uh, with the server in my case is TBS client is my server name and um, uh, SQL mirror is my SQL server instance so I'm going to go ahead and uh, this is the authentication. If you don't have Windows authentication, you must have SQL Server username and password. You can provide that here. And based on your uh, uh, permission, you will get all the databases right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on arrow right here and select sales orders database in SQL Mirror. And you don't need to basically test the connection because this will test the connection when you click on uh, arrow right here. Uh, unless you just uh, go ahead and type the pass um, the database right here and click on test connection let's go ahead and click OK so we selected our source now let's go ahead and select our target click new connection in my case is TBS SQL is my SQL my server name and SQL prod is my instance name so I'm going to go ahead and select the database same database sales order right here click OK click OK right here are the options if you click on options you will get the objects that what objects you would like to compare right now it has selected almost everything if you don't want to include users uh, in the scenario where you want to move from uh, UAT to production you want to sync the changes schema changes then you don't need to take the users out because production users should be different than UAT most of the time but you can uh, pick and choose right here I just wanted to show you the option right now for this demo purposes I'm gonna keep all the same and non application scoped are right here these are non application scoped objects and if you click on general you will get an option what you want to include and what you want to ignore if you wanted to ignore you need to click on that like here ignore DML triggers you need to click on that if it's not click that means you're including it so we're gonna go ahead and click OK so our, it's all selected all we need to do is hit on compare right here by default what it shows is the difference um, the different objects between two databases but you can I'll show you option you if you wanted to look at identical objects you can go ahead and take a look these are the objects that are different between source and your destination or between so uh, source and target if you click on right here to show equal objects it will show the equal objects as well so let's go ahead and take a different a different op take a look on different objects right now I'm gonna go ahead and click on right here uh, DB manager create user DB manager and here it, it, it has create DB manager with the for login DB manager that means that uh, up here there is a just a user let's go ahead and basically go right here that there's a you is, is this is login exist and this doesn't exist so let's go ahead and roll click on the roles and there is a role tech brothers is added on your source in a data writer role but there is no such thing exist on the source side so if it's gonna go it, once you are done with your changes you uh, view your changes all your changes looks good to you and you wanted to go ahead and basically this plus means that it's going to add on your production server and this means that it's going to change it on your production server this exists but they are different and uh, it plus means that it um, it exists on source but it doesn't exist on your uh, uh, target so if once you're done 
with your um, um, you know analysis up here and you're good to go you can click on update right here and it would uh, update it would sync the source and the destination so this is one way that you can go ahead and compare live databases with the uh, make connection with SQL Server and compare that but other option I wanted to show you let me go ahead and click no right here if you right click on your uh, project and click on import and you can go ahead and import the databases in your uh, project right here click databases and make connection and these connections are already basically made it'll remember that but if you wanted to go ahead and make connection then you can go ahead and make connection here you can uh, you have import settings if you wanted to import permissions import database settings everything usually these are the two these two are really um, uh, by default is ignored but uh, usually we keep it ignored because between test and dev permission can be different and you don't want to uh, go ahead and uh, uh, sync the permission because they are usually different but uh, this is another option I wanted to show you that you can go ahead and import the whole thing and click on start importing and it'll bring um, all the objects right here um, in your uh, project then you can go ahead and compare another database um, import another database basically and uh, uh, then there would be two um, two databases in your project and you can compare use compare tool from here and uh, I'm sorry from right here compare tool and when you go ahead and select the source right here you can go ahead and click on project so this is your database project and you can click on database project if you have multiple databases uh, between one project then you can compare those two so just wanted to show you uh, that that option now let's go ahead and take a look on the other option that uh, I wanted to show you about the T-SQL right here about the SQL script you can go ahead and click on import and if you have a SQL script you can basically go ahead and script out your databases and you can go ahead and uh, um, put it on a file system and you can bring that file in your project and you can compare that as well so this is pretty pretty slick really you don't need to buy a third-party software if you do have a visual studio but if you don't have a visual studio then um, Redgate would be the one that I would basically recommend right here uh, compared to is that is pretty I, I use it myself Redgate um, and I sometimes I use uh, visual studio as well but um, this is a uh, red gate has if you buy a compare tool it has um, schema compare as well as data compare and it works pretty good and I hope this video helps